Hello everyone, we are Team 4 Look. We are glad to introduce our project, AIOTPD Foot Pressure Sensing Insole. First, let's take a brief look at Parkinson's disease, here and after called PD. PD is a kind of chronic neurodegenerative disorder. It has been commonly assumed that PD is related to the genetic and environmental factor. PD usually develops after age 60. Studies showed that about 1% of elderly suffer from PD. Ordinary PD can only be judged by the symptom, such as hypokinesia and abnormal gait. As the disease progresses, the neuron will keep losing. Unfortunately, PD is still incurable for the present. Patient can do nothing but control the speed of disease progression by diet, medication and rehabilitation. As for the target, we expect to provide a way to monitor the high-risk populations in their daily life. We use their gait to judge if they have the tendency of PD. In this way, users can get the warning before everything get worse and look for the treatment as soon as possible. For PD patients, our project can also be a severity reference. We evenly insert eight pressure sensors in the insoles to detect users' plantar pressure while walking, for the abnormal gaits are one of the most typical symptoms in the early stage of Parkinson's disease. We use the free online database which collects foot pressure data of both PD patients and normal people to train the neural network model and put it on the WI Plus development board. After receiving the measured foot pressure, we can predict whether the user has Parkinson's disease tendency or not by machine learning. Since the WI Plus board is in collaboration with Google TensorFlow Lite for microcontrollers framework, it can not only reduce the storage space of the model, but also use the library of micro underscore interpreter, which accelerates the calculation process. To meet the foot pressure generated during walking, we chose FlexiForce A301 pressure sensor with a maximum upper limit of 111 newtons, and install it on the insole according to the placement position of the paper. Then, we put a strap on our Pi 3 and Wii Plus so that users can fix them on their calves. Device and insoles are connected through cables. After wearing the device, users can connect the device to the mobile phone via Wi-Fi and control it by our app. The real-time foot pressure data will also show on the screen during measurement. After data collecting, we will pre-process the data on Repi3, and send it to Wii Plus through UR to execute the trained model for prediction. Then we can see the measurement results on the app. And app will show the final score. In the past, the ways of measuring foot pressure were mostly based on pressure sensing mats, which required wide space and lost portability. By contrast, our equipment is superior in mobility and convenience. We install all the sensors on the insoles and detachable protective gear, so it is possible to assemble these tools anytime and anywhere to meet users' need. Moreover, the data transmission between the device and mobile phone is wireless, representing the higher accessibility for more patients. Taking the different walking speeds of each person into account, we will first perform data pre-processing, cut out the interval of each step. Then use interpolation to extract 100 equidistant data from the interval and judge whether the data is unproblematic until four steps of correct data are obtained. In the traditional way of judging Parkinson's disease, the doctor has to do rigorous analysis after obtaining the foot pressure data. But we use the NN model to make judgment, which is not only faster but also more convenient. Now, let's watch a demo video. 